Hey guys, Steve Walter, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, wanted to come to you guys to show you guys how the Android Auto system works. So um, it's a pretty cool system. I like using it. It is very effective. It works very well. Um, and it is just, you know, like I said, it's pretty nice to use. So um, first off is there are two different kinds of Android Autos that you can kind of have, all right? So just, just kind of follow along here. You can have a wireless Android Auto or wired Android Auto. So so depending on the car that you have, it could have either one. The vast majority of them, they are wired, meaning you need to plug your cord in to make it work. All right, so um, that is the one that I have right here right now. This is in a RAV4. Um, obviously, I'm Toyota guy. This is in Toyota, but this is in most cars out there now. You'll have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Android Auto is google's version of apple carplay is really what it is all right so what do you do i'm going to show you here i have my phone right here all right so what you do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to plug your cord in to the very bottom here um, of the phone and i know this isn't going to look great here but uh so i plug this in you're going to hear the thing make a noise it's going to pop up you're going to see it on the center screen here it shows android auto connected that's right there you heard it make a little bit of a noise and then it's going to pop up as soon as i hit the map button here you're going to be able to see that i come over into android auto all right so android auto is going to give me a few things here now i want to show you how it's going to look initially when you first come back up all right so when you first pop up it's going to look like this all right so i had a couple of settings in there i'm going to show you how to get to where i was just at but you're going to notice a few things first this is google maps all right you have this button in the bottom left and you can actually switch it to things like i got my amazon music in there i've got my ways which is right here all right so if i hit ways right Waze is going to pop up and you can see that I've got Waze on there. So everything that you love about Waze is going to be right there. You can also pinch, you can move around, you can do all that kind of stuff. You can report on Waze if you wanted to report that there was a cop or that. You can put all that right there. You know, you can do everything you want to do. It'll show your last thing that you had right over here if you want to go back into your manufacturer system. So whether you have a Honda, Toyota, whatever it is, you're gonna see a symbol usually in, in there that'll have the manufacturer. That'll bring you back over to the manufacturer side. So if you wanna go into your audio or whatever you can, you'll also see audio right here. So if you wanna go into the audio of Android Auto, so if I wanna pull something off of my phone, very easy to do that there, right? Remember the map button, come back over to the map. It's gonna bring the last map that you had up is what you're gonna have there, right? So. I want to pop back over because I really like uh, some of the stuff here. So you can see I got Facebook Messenger. You know, if you want to do reminders, if there's news, you can change your settings. If you wanted to change, it'll show the first line of an incoming message. Or you can silent your notifications. You can start media, show your weather, uh, day night mode right there. So if you want to change automatic day or night you can change all of that right there um, very easy to you know customize this to how you want it right so i've got to start android auto automatically right so it's set by the car so you can do it always you can do it whatever i mean you can do all of this stuff very easily right so i'm gonna pop back over here and i wanted to show you guys something that's kind of cool here too so like weather i'm gonna pop into the weather right and, uh, Currently in Nashville it's 69 degrees and cloudy. Today, there'll be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 71 and a low of 43. So there you go. So it just showed me what the weather was going to do, right? So all that's there, SMS, you can do everything there. So I'm going to pop back over into the Google Maps, all right? I really like this part about the Google Maps. So you can see, you can search, you can type in. If you want to go somewhere, you can very easily, like this will take us to the body shop. It shows where our body shop is. And it's Head going to give you- southwest toward Broadway. It's going to give you all of that. You can change your settings if you wanted to go. You know, how do you want to, you know, do things? Well, this is one way to get into your settings for that particular part, right? You can change your route, right? So do you want to go to a similar route? You can do all of that. It's pretty short to get to our body shop, of course. So um, if you want to, you can, you know, pin it, you know, all that stuff's very easy, right? Um, you know, share the journey. Okay, that's whatever. Um, but if you go into your settings, so 
you can see I got there this way. Also, if you cancel this out, you'll have your settings button right here. Switch this to satellite. And now this is really cool, right? So um, I've just minimized that search thing, but you can see this is basically Google Earth, right? This is, I mean, and you can move around, you can, you know, do your pinch, you can do all of that stuff, right? So you can do every piece of this that you want to do, right? Um, and then you can pop back right here and it's going to take you back close, right? So one of the things that's really cool about this is obviously you can see what things look like as you're getting ready to turn into them, right? Um, you can also pop in here and turn on traffic. When you turn on traffic, you're going to see, you know, that things will pop up if there's a slowdown or something like that. Turn off this, it might look a little bit easier to, to see what the traffic's doing with the red and the greens and the oranges and that. But you can do guidance. So if you want to do the audio, you can do everything right here to change what you're going to do. So if you don't want the traffic on, if you do want the traffic on, all these route information and stuff. So you can do all of that and it just works really, really cool. You have your temperature all that up there. It shows you your phone, of course, um, but it's, you know, time's up here. Um, it's just a really cool system. Android Auto works very well. Um, every once in a while, you're gonna have something on here that will um, basically, um, it, it's gonna kind of, tell you to unplug and replug in um sorry i'm over here um but uh it'll tell you to replug in um just because of you know i guess it loses a connection or something like that but just a really quick overview of android auto you can use your voice recognition for it you can do all kinds of stuff with that it is a really sweet system to be able to use um podcasts audiobooks anything that is an android auto capable app that is in your phone will show up on the screen if it's got an android auto version of it so um you know spotify things like that stuff that uh, i might not have in my phone but you might have in yours all of that stuff is things that you can look at so you can also if you wanted to you can search and i'm going to kind of do this here real quick so i i tapped that search button that was up there and you can see that it'll show like recent locations and stuff like that it shows that you can also hit categories and you can go oh, or I want to see a restaurant right so here's some restaurants that are close here right and you can go and you can find any of these these restaurants so um, come back over and say all right well I want to find a gas station well gas stations that's gonna search and it's gonna show you where all these gas stations are and then you see it shows you current price of what these gas stations are as you go and you can kind of you know as you start to get further out you'll see this gets you further out um, I did want to mention something else too that while you are driving I have noticed this and I didn't know this before but I noticed this so while you're driving the map if you're going at a faster speed the map will zoom out automatically so it's gonna give you that further away view as you go a little bit slower it will get closer so it figures you're going slower you have as much it, it's kind of like you have as much time to make the same decisions that you'd have otherwise so it will move it closer move it further away so whether you're looking for points of interest it'll move them further away as you move it further away if you're going to a specific speed it's going to move um, that map closer or farther away to accommodate what you're doing so it's a really cool cool little feature that i, I didn't know was on there until actually today so um but I've been playing with it. I'm in a rental car right now. So um, it's just kind of one of those things that's really helped me to, to do a little bit more because I'm using it every day. And um, my old car didn't have Android Auto. So um, it's just one of those things that uh, I've been able to use and been able to play with and, and really get even more proficient than what I was with it. I had an idea, obviously, but uh, I wasn't 100% proficient with it. And I'm sure I've still got some stuff to learn. But if you guys want to add something that you know about Android Auto, feel free to put that in the comments comments definitely like subscribe i appreciate every one of you guys and uh, hopefully it's helped you out to know a little bit more how to use android auto and a quick overview of android auto like i said i'm in a toyota but this is going to be in pretty much any car so steve Walsh, being a toyota in nashville definitely like subscribe and uh, i look forward to you know bringing you guys some more content so appreciate you steve Walsh, being a toyota you guys have a great day bye